All right, topic is the best shoulder reduction technique for beginners. It's really a tough topic to talk about because let's say you are in a program, athletic trainer, student athletic trainer, your preceptors, uh, your GAs, and if they have actual shoulder dislocation, and you're gonna be on that spot and then you see how they reduce and then you, it's the technique could be on your head, in, it burned into your head, which is normal. However, it does mean the techniques is the best technique for you to do it. You know what I mean? Just example, let's say this is 300, 350 pound football player and you 100 pound athletic trainer. Is it fair? It's not, but that's the way it is. The fact is. And what is the best technique? Oh, I saw my preceptor, my uh, class told me this is a technique I should use, but the technique, they might not work. Okay, so yes, it's my bias, but this is a technique I kind of learned, and this is kind of, I, I would think it's a good technique to, well, everybody, wide range, not everybody, okay? So, this is the shoulder dislocation simulator, dislocated anterior, okay? You see it, okay? So use your hip and elbow, squeeze the patient's forearm. So basically your body and the patient's arm is gonna be one piece. From here, you're gonna shift this way. How? Shift your weight to get here, okay? Then how are you gonna do it? If you get there, push and then lean back and also external rotation. If you do that, You can achieve reduction. So, it's just my bias opinion. That's good technique. Is there any name for it? No, but it's just my opinion. Okay, so I think that technique can use for wide range. So, if you have any question, DM me. If you want to have a workshop with my finger, elbow, shoulder, hip dislocation later, uh, send me an email. Thank you.